thank you so much for uh, watching the Louis file. Today we're in the third uh, installment, third part of getting on with the program. If you uh, come across this one, you, you should probably go back and watch the first couple first. Uh, but if not, I hope, I'm glad you're here. Today we're going to be looking in 2 Corinthians chapter 3. Uh, you know, the Bible makes it clear that uh, God instituted a lot of things over the years with Israel. Uh, lots of programs, if you, for lack of a better word, uh, laws, restrictions, uh, rules, traditions. Uh, he had temple, there was temple worship, there was animal sacrifices, there was a law, the moral law written on stone that he gave to Moses. There was civil law, how you treat your neighbor. There's the dietary law, the food you do and don't eat. Amazing. He had he established his nation from the uh, descendants of Abraham. Israel was his nation. And all those laws and rules and programs are great and wonderful. But, but what God was really pointing to all along, and he's really been trying to get us to see, is Jesus Christ, his son, the person of God in the flesh, who was given on the cross. He was he was crucified, buried, and raised. He went, ascended back to the Father and sent God's very own Holy Spirit to indwell all who by faith would believe and receive Him. Because God knows that once He gets our heart and mind, then we don't need all the laws and the rituals and the outside rules and commandments ever again. Because once He moves in and His divine nature is now attached to us, right? And he's revived us. He's enlivened us. Uh, <laughs> we get on with his program, but it's a spirit program that uh, starts on the inner man. And so the Apostle Paul, who wrote most of the New Testament, New Covenant, addresses this in, in 2 Corinthians chapter 3. Uh, he's telling them that, look, we're not ministers of the old covenant by the letter, but we're ministers of the new covenant. So, 2 Corinthians 3, uh, I'm just going to read a couple verses here, verse 10 and 11. And he's, he's, what this chapter is, I would encourage you to read it. I don't want to spend too much time digging around through all the details of this chapter right now. But chapter 3 of 2 Corinthians, he's comparing the old and the new. The old covenant or program and the new covenant or program. Uh, and he says the old had a glory about it. It, had, it was good. The old letter written in stone, the old letter of the law, is it's good. It does its job. It gets the, it gets its job done. But what we're talking about now is a superseding. We we got a pr new program here. God's got something new going on, and it's and it's His Spirit. So Second Corinthians three ten and eleven, He says, "For indeed, what had glory that old, in this case, has no glory because of the glory that surpasses it." For if that which fades away was with glory, much more that which remains is in glory. So this old program was great and wonderful, and it served its purpose. I think I, think I quoted on the last video in Galatians 3, the Apostle Paul said that the law is our schoolmaster to lead us to Christ. But once we come to Christ, we have no need of the schoolmaster anymore. We just don't need the schoolmaster anymore, the written law code on the outside of us, uh, because we have the very teacher on the inside of us. You know, in fact, that's what I wrote here. Teaching and doctrines are great, but a union, a relationship, oneness with the teacher is even better. <laughs> Programs can prepare you, but for what? Another program, right? So in Romans 8, this one's just off the cuff here, but in Romans 8, it says, Romans 8, verse 2, For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ... Jesus has set you free from the law of sin and of death. For what the law could not do, weak as it was through the flesh, God did, sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and as an offering for sin, he condemned sin in the flesh. Look at this. Why? So that the requirement of the law might be fulfilled in us, who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. How about that? So we learn... We receive the Spirit, and then we learn to walk after the Spirit. We are awakened on the inside. We become a new creature. We have now received the mind of Christ. We got a new heart. It's a fabulous program, and I would invite you to come and join me in this program. And it's a program of faith. <laughs> it's not a program of, 
looking at some law or doctrine and saying, I'll go and try to do that now. It's, it's not that at all. It's, it's an inward change, an inward transformation that, that God changes our want-tos. So he doesn't have to tell us from the outside, do not this, do not that, because on the inside, we have fallen in love with him and he has transformed us. Now we want what he wants because Peter says we are now, through his great and precious promises, a partaker of his divine nature. We truly are born of God and we are going to be like our father because it's just natural that a child... <laughs> becomes like its father not because it, it's told to but because it it just has the very nature of the father being displayed in and through its life i hope this has helped you now i got one more verse john 17 3 you know that verse great powerful verse john 17 3 jesus says this is eternal life that they may know you the only true god and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. That's eternal life. Knowing God, knowing Jesus, that is eternal life. It's not getting on with some physical program on the outside and learning and learning and learning. It's about knowing in a very intimate oneness kind of way, God himself. All right. Thank you so much for your time. I hope this has helped you. Uh, if it has, share this with your friends and uh, tell people about the Louis file. I'm not looking for for money. I'm just looking to share the truth of what I'm seeing and what I'm coming to know uh, because of a relationship I have with God by way of His Spirit. And that's what I want more than anything for you too. All right, thanks for watching. I hope to see you on the next Louis File.